Originally, I was going to make a much longer video listing some number of reasons dogs themselves give us to hate them. And I may still do this video in the future. But I have decided that for this one, I will focus on one in particular because it is very difficult to argue against. I'd say it was impossible, but various comments on a recent video suggest that the dog nut ideologue will always find a way to try. And before proceeding, I want to make something abundantly clear for the nutters out there who are thinking of leaving this played out nonsense. This oft repeated crap, which has already been addressed and thoroughly debunked on countless previous occasions. No, my problem is not just with untrained dogs or with irresponsible owners. For starters, every dog owner is socially and environmentally irresponsible because owning a dog is socially and environmentally irresponsible. No responsible or conscientious person would choose to own a dog, not when they know about the constellation of dangers, inconveniences, trespasses, violations and public costs dog ownership entails. Then again, they may well be ignorant to this reality, but that is why channels like this one exist, to spread awareness. And now you know. So listen closely to this bit. If dogs were so great, they'd be universally loved. But they most assuredly are not. Just the fact that we are having this debate is an indication that dogs aren't as you portray them. An entire book was written on the problems caused by dog ownership as a widespread mainstream tendency in 1978. This book is titled The Dog Crisis. If dogs were pleasant and easygoing, they wouldn't have to be trained not to be complete pieces of shit. No other pet animal requires so much time spent in this fashion just to reduce its innate hostility. No other animal period that we encounter outdoors needs to be restrained in public for our safety. It's only dogs, so get this through your heads. But also, just as I should not hear about other animals causing problems in response to this, I shouldn't hear you trying to tell me that human children need to be taught certain things, as if this is at all equivalent. Bringing up an actual child, a human being, and raising them to be an adult is not the same thing as owning a pet you purchased somewhere. If it dies prematurely, you think nothing of replacing it within weeks or months with another one just like it, as if it were a PlayStation. So I don't want to hear it. Bringing up children as a completely different topic is nothing but a distraction from the focal problem here. It's immaterial. They aren't the issue. This also implies that dogs actually belong in human society. But they don't. Dogs are out of place in human society. They're nothing but a liability and a needless hazard with no true measurable benefits. The point is to improve human society by getting dogs out of it. We don't need dogs. Dogs are dangerous with and without owners. They're dangerous because they're dogs, not because of what their owners are doing. Dog owners do endanger society by having dogs at all. If dogs themselves weren't dangerous, this would not be the case. Now, it certainly makes matters worse when there is a person who won't even bother to somewhat minimize the problems their dog will naturally create. But this idea of a group of people we call responsible, as opposed to this other group deemed irresponsible, is something we should do away with. It distracts from the core problem, which is the very presence of dogs in extant society. I could list 10 reasons, easily. I could list 100, but here is just one. Are you ready for it? Number one, their mindless aggression. I hate the fact that many dogs, and I'm not saying literally every dog, but certainly more than enough of them, will attack or try to attack a person the instant the dog sees them. I also hate the way dogs bark at everything that comes within a hundred meters of them when they are enclosed in a yard. And virtually every dog is like this based on what I have experienced. Bottom line, dogs are needlessly antagonistic and their aberrant behavior makes them very divisive. But also, it is only dogs. This has nothing to do with animals in general. I should not even see comments where people start talking about other animals. Don't even try to tell me animals can sense things because it is only dogs that are like this. Only dogs exhibit this mindless aggression, and I will describe it for anyone who has had the good fortune to live a sheltered existence, such that they have never seen this before in their lives. The dog's automatic response to someone just being there is violence. I don't know about you, but I don't particularly enjoy being attacked by brainless vermin just for walking peacefully from point A to point B. And that is exactly what happens with dogs. I must emphasize that just being there, being present around the dog, that's all it takes. Anyone who has ever walked by any number of houses with a dog behind a fence or gate has been barraged with an unsolicited onslaught of menacing barks and other aggressive vocalizations, all whilst the dog is making every futile attempt to get to whomever is simply walking by outside the property. Fences don't keep us safe, by the way. It's just that dogs are stupid. Most dogs capable of circumventing such barriers are simply incapable of realizing how easily they can. So that is one way it manifests. For that matter, dogs are constantly raging at us from open windows in vehicles on the street, 
whether we are walking somewhere or behind the wheel ourselves. I made a video titled, The More Dogs I Encounter, The More I Hate All Dogs. This video triggered a lot of dog nutters, but the facts in that video are not exaggerated. In that video, I mostly focused on this aspect of dogs. I explained how bad it has been in two different places I've lived because of the dogs there and the fact that so many people have them nowadays. These are apartment buildings and there are many good reasons why dogs should at least be banned in such places. This is one of them. I always avoided going up the lift or elevator when someone with a dog was also getting in. I don't care how personally they take it. That's their problem and I don't trust their dogs not to do something inappropriate or violent like jumping on me or biting me or barking at me, or trying to sniff my crotch. All of these things are common too and typical of dogs, and we wouldn't accept it if a person were doing this to us. Now, to put it in as few words as possible, the place where I currently live, and every place I've lived before for the past few years, would be, or would have been, so much more peaceful without dogs. I don't care how much this offends people. It is the truth. Dogs are objectively causing all sorts of issues. At best, your dog is a nuisance for any number of reasons and something that engages in public fouling. As in, the thing is pissing and crapping everywhere, and these are public areas we all use as well. But, at its most extreme, your choice to be a dog owner could very well end someone's life, or permanently disfigure them. Or, even if it does not inflict a serious physical injury, or if it simply does not manage to, but tries, it could traumatize someone for life, especially if they are attacked earlier in life. Now. All of this is partly because of the absurd number of people who own dogs these days because that greatly increases one's chances of having an encounter with a dog. And in my experience, those are never positive. But it is also partly due to the presence of dogs in communities where they can easily get loose and terrorize residents. And these are typically dogs like pit bulls and mastiffs and nasty beasts the size of Great Danes. But also, the presence of dogs in apartment buildings is a major culprit. Dogs are anathema to peaceful apartment living. No matter where I've gone for the past four or five years, I can always say that it would be so much better if no one owned dogs. And I would be remiss not to mention the barking, which is often an issue anywhere dogs are found. Many dog owners who live in a flat will leave their dogs to bark all day while they're off at work, or else they leave them outside to bark at everything that approaches. But basically, if no one owned dogs for five miles around you in every direction, you might start to get an idea of how much better life could be. I would love to leave on that note, but I can't believe some of the comments I'm getting on my video where I described how dogs are attacking and harassing me for literally just existing. It's like they don't want to accept the distinct possibility that dogs are just hostile beasts that behave in an overtly antisocial manner because that's how they are. They are mindlessly aggressive and will resort to force at the drop of a hat. Unlike many other animals which are rather wary of humans, and really other living things in general, dogs are the opposite. Their eagerness and willingness to approach you, either to annoy you or because they want to destroy you, is one quality that makes dogs intolerable. I don't want a dog approaching me for any reason. I don't care if you think it's being friendly. In that instance, it probably just wants food from me. However, I don't want it coming up to me, whether it wants to attack me or not. And smaller dogs seem like they're especially willing to try and visit violence on anyone around. It's almost like they're pissed that they're so shitty and small and want to take their self-hatred out on the world. Or... More realistically, they're just utterly deranged and possibly even more mindlessly aggressive than many larger dogs. Though it should be noted, certainly not all. And if you put any dog behind a fence, it will exhibit the exact same brainless and antisocial behavior. What frustrated me the most about the comments I received on that one video is the fact that several of them are from people who simply can't accept the fact that dogs are mindlessly aggressive critters that attack for no reason. Yes, they are vermin. I meant what I said. Actually, they are worse than vermin because most animals considered pests at least have some ecological function they carry out and are products of the natural world, unlike dogs which are man-made abominations. Mosquitoes, for instance, are an important link in the food chain. Dogs just aggravate us and attack us and are only found where humans are, not unlike a particular parasite unique to our species. When I'm getting harassed and attacked when out and about, I am not the one creating the problem. Dogs are the problem. Dogs are hyper-aggressive mutants with a tiny pea brain and they have no idea when aggression is warranted or not, going by human standards. Not theirs. These foul critters are clearly on a hair trigger and are the ones behaving incorrectly, not whomever they direct their mindless aggression towards. I'd happily ignore dogs if I could and any time I spot them, I do my best to avoid them. But dogs are difficult to ignore and in fact it is impossible. 
They will force their touch upon you in a way that's incredibly rare in the whole of the animal kingdom. I have a scenario to shut anyone up, who at this point would interject to talk about drunken brawls or the violence humans occasionally engage in. If you had an island full of nothing but dogs and another island with civilized humans, violence would be a far more regular occurrence on the dog-infested island. Dogs wouldn't even create laws against assault and everything else like we do. They do not believe these things are wrong. They don't have beliefs at all because they're incredibly limited animals with no capacity for abstraction. They have an awareness that is strongly rooted in the present moment. But they are not enlightened. They are highly instinct-driven. In the now, so to speak, but they have no idea what a legitimate threat is. Again, I am going by human standards here. We know that the next-door neighbor getting his mail isn't something we need to be alerted to. But your idiot dog doesn't. We know the postman isn't coming to rob us, but your brain-dead stench hound will view any delivery worker as an object to attack. It isn't at all difficult to find evidence for stuff like this.